Hi, it's me again with Corel Draws Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me just a little while ago. I just made a video a couple hours ago about using guidelines. And they said their guidelines weren't, he, he never had used them before and they weren't working. When he brought in the guidelines and I was actually showing him how would, they would snap. Well, in later versions of Corel Draw, you've got a, a little icon right here that says show guidelines. So when you make a guideline, it's not really there until you show the guidelines. That's in later versions, Corel. I don't really know when it started. But if you have earlier versions, and even in all versions, this would work, go to Window or go to Tools, Options, go down to, you know, it'll normally open up like that. Go down to Documents, and then right here, go to Guidelines, and you can turn the guidelines off. So that's maybe what happened. They inter inadvertently checked that, and they've got their guidelines turned off. So in later versions, you can turn them on and off right there. But in earlier versions, options, under document guidelines, and I've turned them back on, and you can see right here, I can turn them on and off from there. So I've turned them back on, but you can turn them on and off by that. And also, you can snap to guidelines right there instead of going up to view, you've got to get out of here. You've got to go to view and snap to in those guidelines. So let's unsnap guidelines and let's go to tools, options, guidelines and snap to guidelines and then your guidelines will be there and they'll snap to that edge. And what I mean by the edge, any node is a corner. So if we want a guideline snap to that node You've got to get, the safest thing is to get on the edge. But as you can see, it snapped right to it. Bam. But I always do it right in the corner. And then that way I know it snaps there for sure. And then that way you can bring over another guideline. And as long as you're close, it'll snap to it. Guidelines are pretty important when you're designing a plaque or you want all your words fit inside of a certain area. You know, and for instance, let's just do this. Let's say this plaque is whatever size it is, and you wanted your worded one inch from the edge of the plaque, you can click on that guideline and, and move it over and then move this one down and you've got a one inch working area with no lines that you could possibly accidentally vector. Now I always make a box inside of that and run it with a laser open, but this would be very good. You can put a guideline anywhere and just move it up move this one and have it snap to that edge and it's dead on precise that it is one inch off all corners so when you type in your text or another box you can go to those guidelines and draw you a box and do you a test that away or or actually engrave that make it make it bigger than a hairline and make it black let's make it four points and make it black and you are good to go. That would actually engrave that line. And it's one inch off the surface. If you run a test that your plaque is on that red line, that way you know your text is going to fit in there. You know your objects are going to fit in there without any trouble. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. And thank you for watching.